Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey there everyone, this is Ryan Pearson, aka The Frugal Geek, with another Windows 8 tip. Connecting to a Wi-Fi network with Windows 8 isn't as hard as you might think, though the process of doing it has changed quite a bit since Windows 7. This is all pending that you have gone through Device Manager, I'll pull it up right here, and made sure that your Wi-Fi adapter is actually on and loaded and ready to go. If you do not have a wireless adapter in this list, but you know that you have one with your computer, you might want to check with the manufacturer and make sure you have the right drivers installed. Pending that all of this is up and ready, you'll want to look in the lower right hand corner here and find an icon that looks like a staircase with an asterisk above it. In this case, it's right here and it is your wireless network controller. Now here's what you can do. You can find your current network and for example, I'll look at 2Wire972. That's the network that is a attached to my router inside my own home. So this is the one I want to connect to. I'm going to left click it and that'll bring up the option to connect automatically. And that's a good option if it's your home network. Don't do this with your local coffee shop or a network that's at a buddy's house you don't particularly trust every computer that's on. I will do connect automatically because this is my home network and I have my router pretty well locked down. I'm going to hit connect and it here, at this point it will ask for my network security key. All I have to do is enter that in and at that point it will say do you want to turn on sharing between PCs and connect to devices on the network. This means if you have files, for example, that are set as shared, publicly available files, do you want them to be accessible to other users of the network? Likewise, would you like to have access to shared printers on the network? For me, again, this is home, so I'm going to select yes, turn on for home and work networks. And at that point, I am connected. That's all I had to do. And I'm ready to go about my day and surf the web. This has been a Windows 8 tip, but if you have any questions or tips of your own that you would like to have us answer in a future video, please leave it in the comment section below and we'll get to it as soon as we can.